King, EU Ambassador Gordon Sondland from testifying to Congress. This happened just moments before he was to appear on Capitol Hill. CNN has learned that administration officials were in discussions late last night about blocking Sondland's testimony. Of course, the decision made this morning. Joining us now to talk about this, Democratic Congressman Mike Quigley of Illinois. Of course, he sits on the House Intelligence Committee that is leading this probe. Sir, I, I know you thought this morning would play a lot differently. I think everyone certainly did. So the question now becomes, what are you going to do about it? Congress has the power to subpoena. Uh, he's there. He's ready for testimony. You have the power to hold the ambassador in contempt. What will your move be? I think the first step would be to subpoena. That's going to be up to leadership. Uh, but I do think we have to follow uh, the orders, the due diligence that's required. Obviously, the White House hasn't uh, ever paid much concern to subpoenas, but uh, I'd like to think that the ambassador recognizes their power. Uh, and in the end, he's going to be impacted by all of this. But if anyone's surprised by the White House actions, they have not been paying attention. Uh, the House Russian investigation was obstructed by this White House. Uh, the special counsel's report details just how the president obstructed this investigation. It's gone on since today's just another step in the president's efforts. Okay, so you issue a subpoena later today. If, if the White House blocks Sunland or Sunland himself refuses to comply, do you hold him in contempt? Well, I, I think that's a decision we take step by step. I, I think it's the natural order that we would move toward. But I, I don't want to blow it all up if there's any hope. Uh, I may be wildly optimistic, but, you know, we're here and ready to listen. Uh, this is obviously a critical witness. I, I think if I feel anything after today is I, I feel a sense of panic in the White House. Mm. You know, for the first time, the public mood about this has changed. For the right. first time, uh, it, it's, uh, it's not just smoke. It's uh, the fire that the public can see. And uh, I think the president's reacting as such. Well, speaking about the mood in the White House, our Jim Acosta has some new reporting this morning from someone familiar with the discussions inside of the president's impeachment team. Quote, the days of playing nice are done, mm -hmm. unquote. So what do you think then, Congressman? Let's fast forward to Friday when you're supposed to hear from the former ambassador to Ukraine, Maria Yovanovitch. What do you think this portends for the possibility of that testimony happening? Yeah, no, I smile because if they've been playing nice so far, I sure as uh, heck like to know what playing dirty is. Uh, they have broken the law. Uh, they have done everything they possibly can to obstruct uh, the Congress's constitutional right to oversight. They have attacked the rule of law. Uh, they have done irreparable damage to the integrity and independence of the Justice Department, uh, the State Department, and the entire intelligence community. So what will this president do to protect himself? Apparently anything. So uh, the, as you know, the White House, some Republicans making the point that they will not comply until there's been a, a vote in the full House right. launching an impeachment inquiry. That, that did happen in both the Nixon and, and Clinton impeachment proceedings. Is that something that you're opposed to, or, w or would you support such a vote? Look, I. I supported a vote in the House uh, involving an impeachment inquiry or whatever anyone wants to call it. But I wouldn't take the Republican effort as uh, an act in good faith. They're playing games here. They're trying to make it difficult for <coughs> Democrats to move forward from a political point of view. Uh, they understand the circumstances. They can also read the newspapers and understand exactly what this president has done so far. Uh, if they want the truth to go out, uh, they should tell the White House to comply and let people testify. It is their power. If the tables were turned, they would want people who were uh, brought forth to Congress to testify. Uh, they're s establishing a, a case here where people can, if they want to or not. Uh, when you testify in Congress, you're testifying to the American people. Uh, that's an extraordinary power they seem to be willing to give up. Mm -hmm. Congressman, to Jim's point about having a formal vote on this, it's something that former Congressman Beto O'Rourke said last night on this network he thinks would be appropriate and good given the weight of a moment like this. But if you look back at, at the impeachment inquiries into President Nixon and, and President Clinton, in both of those there was a stipulation that the minority was allowed to subpoena their own witnesses. So some are saying that is a reason perhaps why Nancy Pelosi has not called for this vote that would potentially give Republicans that power. Is that your read? Look, 
No, I think, I think the speaker is doing this because she understands that the uh, Republicans are playing the game. Again, I have no problem with this vote. I think it should move forward, especially with the news that we've learned in the last uh, several weeks and the actions by the administration today. Uh, all bets are off. Let's move forward. Uh, let's take the uh, Republicans up on this game because the numbers are moving in the opposite direction. And again, that's why I think the president is starting to panic. Will this uh, refusal or blocking, rather, of, of Ambassador Sondland testifying, will that end up in a potential article of impeachment for, for obstruction of justice? You know, I, I heard it said best the other day, uh, when the president obstructs, it, it makes one article weaker because you don't have as much uh, evidence to present. But it makes the uh, obstruction article so much stronger. And at this point in time, I believe there's multiple obstruction articles uh, that this president would have to answer to. And today, if they go forward, is just one more part of that evidence. All right, Congressman, we have 15 seconds left. Do you expect that Ambassador Yovanovitch will testify now? Uh, look, I'm op as I said, I'm an opti optimistic guy. After all, I'm a Cub fan, so I'll be here ready to go uh, because that's my job. I hope that they believe in the Constitution as much as I do. Yeah. Optimism, endangered species in Washington. Jim's so, so an optimistic Mets fan, so there you go. It's more productive to be optimistic. <laughs> there you. you go. Congressman Mike Quigley, appreciate your time this morning. Thank you so much. So we're, we're just a few minutes away from the House Intelligence Chairman Adam Schiff speaking. Of course, he's going to take questions for the first time since the State Department just this morning blocked the EU ambassador Gordon Sunland from testifying before Congress. We're also moments away from the opening bell on Wall Street. It's looking like it will be a lower open uh, because optimism dimming over U.S. China, China trade talks, a new round of talks is going to begin on Thursday. Investors also will be watching for any news from Fed Chief Jerome Powell when he speaks this afternoon on Monday. Powell pushed back on President Trump, President Trump's continued pressure to aggressively cut interest rates, even quoting a past Fed Chief when saying the central bank must be free from politics. Before the bell. Brought to you by E-Trade, now with commission-free trading. And go to CNN.com slash Before the Bell to stay on top of markets and sign up for the daily newsletter. You should be mad they gave this guy a promotion. You should be mad at forced camaraderie. And you should be mad at tech that makes things worse. But you're not mad. Because you have E-Trade, whose tech makes life easier by automatically adding technical patterns on charts and helping you understand what they mean. Don't get mad. Get E-Trade's simplified technical analysis. The CNN and New York Times Democratic presidential debate. Biden, Warren, Sanders, Buttigieg, Harris, Yang, Booker, O'Rourke, Steyer, Klobuchar, Gabbard, Castro. Twelve candidates, one stage. Next Tuesday at 8, live on CNN. Sometimes your small screen is your big screen. And with the Xfinity Stream app, which is free with your service, you can take a spin through on-demand shows or stream live TV. Download your DVR shows and movies on the fly. Even record from right where you are. Keep what you watch with you. Download the Xfinity Stream app today. Because Xfinity Stream TV Week is here. Watch shows like South Park and The Walking Dead now through October 13th. Hardwood floors will enhance the look of any room. At Abbey Carpet and Floor of Naples, our selection of hardwood is unparalleled. From wide plank to hand scrape to rustic or elegant, come see our vast selection of hardwood flooring and let our experts schedule professional installation just for you. Locally owned and operated with the buying power of over 800 stores nationwide, Abbey Carpet and Floor of Naples, where our customers always come first. Nobody is untouchable. Declassified, Sundays at 9. What's my safe flight story? My car is more than four wheels. It's my after work decompression zone. So when my windshield broke, I searched for someone who really knew my car. I found the experts at Safe Flight Auto Glass. With their exclusive technology, they fixed my windshield, then recalibrated the camera attached to my glass, so my safety systems still work. Who knew that was a thing? SafeLight has service I can trust. SafeLight Repair, SafeLight Replace. Our cars, they take us to so many amazing moments. 
and sometimes to new beginnings. At Amica, we believe in life's extraordinary experiences, so much so that we built a company around it. With every phone call, every quote, every claim, we're an insurance company that delivers an experience that meets the only standards higher than ours. Yours, Amica, auto, home, and life insurance. My wife is dead. Someone has to be responsible. They're sucking up the water right and left. All perfectly legal. We should let a jury decide what's legal. So confident. Here's to you, the warm welcomers. The finders of one-of-a-kind belongings. Made and sold by real people that make life extraordinary. Here's to you, the givers. Shop Etsy. Nobody gets your carpet, tile, or hardwood as clean and healthy as Stanley Steamer. Call or go online for our $99 special. Call 1-800-STEAMER. Stanley Steamer gets your home cleaner. Now that I'm pregnant, I'm even more proactive about taking care of myself. That's why I use Native deodorant. Native is aluminum and paraben-free and made from ingredients you know. Native deodorant. Over 5,000 five-star reviews. Shop now at nativedeodorant.com. Tremphia helps adults with moderate to severe plaque psoriasis get clearer. And Tremphia was proven superior to Humira in providing significantly clearer skin. Don't use if you're allergic to Tremphia. Tremphia may lower your ability to fight infections and may increase your risk of infections. Before treatment, your doctor should check you for infections and TB. Tell your doctor if you have an infection or symptoms or if you had a vaccine or plan to. Serious allergic reactions may occur. Tremphia. Get clearer. Janssen can help you explore cost support options. I hop, how can I help you? Mm. So that's a stack of Wednesday's web cakes, Morticia's haunted hot chocolate, and kids eat free. Mm. You could say that again. Pancake with a kooky new Adams Family menu at IHOP and see the Adams Family in theaters. Events moving quickly this morning on Capitol Hill. The Democratic chairman of the House Intelligence Committee, he's expected to speak at any moment now. This is after, at the 11th hour, truly, the State Department just an hour ago mm. blocked Ambassador Gordon Sunland from testifying before three key House committees. Now, a text message exchange between Sunland and the, the U.S. Ambassador to the European Union, Bill Taylor, and former Special Envoy to Ukraine, Kurt Volker, of course, that's now at the heart of all of this. Mani Raju joins us on Capitol Hill. Look, I, I, I don't know where Congress goes from here. I suppose they subpoena, but they just cannot get the answers they're trying to get to the bottom of. Yeah, and what they've been warning a lot about for some time now is that if they continue to get when what they view as clear obstruction from this administration, denial of getting witnesses, they will use that as evidence of obstruction of Congress in an article of impeachment. So while we've seen for months Democrats engaged in a long fight, drawn-out fight that had led to court battles, such as when Don McGahn, the former White House counsel, was directed by the White House not to appear for the House Judiciary Committee, they went to court to fight that out. That's still tied up in court there are indications that Democrats don't have the appetite to do that right now if these witnesses are not going to be allowed to come forward. Instead, they will turn that into what they view as obstruction of Congress. They will say that this is similar to what happened during the Nixon impeachment proceeding, citing an impeachment, uh, citing obstruction of Congress as part of one of the articles. So that is going to be what you'll probably hear from Adam Schiff when he talks um, downstairs momentarily. Now, the other question, too, is that there are other State Department officials who this committee, these committees that are investigating this impeachment probe they, who, they want to speak with. And it's a question about whether or not these former and the current State Department officials will come, including the former ambassador to Ukraine, uh, Yovanovitch, who is scheduled to testify later this week. Now, she is now still a State Mano, Department Mano, employee. Mano, so will uh, she come to interrupt uh, this week? This is the uh, chairman of the Intel Committee, Adam Schiff, speaking uh, now. By the attorney for Ambassador Sondland that the State Department would refuse to allow him to testify today. This was after conversations um, well into uh, yesterday afternoon and evening uh, with the State Department legal advisor in which there was no indication uh, that the ambassador would be a no-show. Not only is the Congress being deprived of his testimony, the American people being deprived of his testimony today, but we are also aware that the ambassador has uh, text messages or emails uh, on a personal device which have been provided to the State Department, although we have requested those from the ambassador, 
and the State Department is withholding those messages as well. Those messages are also deeply relevant to this investigation and the impeachment inquiry. Uh, and I want to just explain uh, for the public the significance of this witness and the significance of the decision evidently by the Secretary of State and President or President or both uh, to withhold this key witness's testimony today. We know from the text messages that Ambassador Sondland was in discussion with Ukrainian counterparts, uh, with fellow diplomatic uh, personnel, and the President. Uh, as well as at least uh, one U.S. Senator about the course of events that we are investigating. We know from those text messages that diplomatic personnel raised a concern with him uh, that military assistance was being withheld to secure help from Ukraine in the President's re-election campaign. We know that Ambassador Sondland had at least one discussion with a fellow diplomat on that very subject of why military assistance was being withheld. We know Master Sondland was a key player in efforts to um, obtain a commitment from Ukraine to investigate a bogus conspiracy theory about the 2016 election, as well as um, Joe Biden and his son. And we know that the ambassador has relevant uh, evidence on whether the meeting with the president that the Ukrainians desperately sought uh, with President Trump was being conditioned uh, on these investigations that the President believed would help his re-election campaign. It is hard to overstate the significance of not just Ambassador Sondland's testimony and the documents, but the testimony of others as well. Um, the failure to produce this witness, the failure to produce these documents, um, we consider yet additional strong evidence of obstruction of the constitutional functions of Congress, a co-equal branch of government. There are four issues that we are looking at, at least four issues that we are looking at, all that go to the heart of our national security. And by preventing us from hearing from this witness and obtaining these documents, the President and Secretary of State are taking actions that prevent us from getting the facts needed to protect the nation's security. We are looking into whether the President solicited foreign help in a U.S. presidential election again. We are looking into the issue of whether a meeting that Ukraine desperately sought with the President at the White House was being conditioned on the willingness of Ukraine to investigate this bogus conspiracy theory about 2016 and investigate the Bidens. We're looking at whether Ukraine was given reason to believe that military assistance it desperately needed to fight off the Russians was being withheld until it made commitments to do these political investigations for the president. And we are looking into the question of whether there has been an effort by the president, the secretary of state, and others to cover up this misconduct. Ambassador Sondland is an important witness on each of these subjects, but he is not the only important witness. Uh, and we will consider this act today, and we've had members fly in from around the country to hear the ambassador's testimony, uh, as well as the withholding of the ambassador's documents, uh, as well as efforts that may be made to discourage or having the effect of discouraging other State Department witnesses from coming forward and testifying, as they have agreed to to be further acts of obstruction of a co-equal branch of government. This is one of the few impeachment inquiries in the history of our country. It goes to the core of whether the president abused his office to seek political help in his re-election campaign, and did so to the detriment of our nation's security. Did so by effectively coercing a country that has been invaded by Russia to investigate a rival and condition the relationship between this country and that country on whether they were willing to play ball. That is the gravamen of the issues that we are investigating that this impeachment inquiry is looking into. It is hard to imagine a set of facts more damaging to our national security and our standing in the world, but also more of a fundamental breach of the President's oath of office.
The American people have the right to know if the president is acting in their interests, in the nation's interests, with an eye towards our national security uh, and not in his narrow personal political interests. They have a right to know, indeed, the American people have a need to know. And through this impeachment inquiry, we are determined to find the answers. Thank you. So there, go ahead. Yeah. Just seeing if he's going to yeah, take the take question there. Questions. Looks like he ran without question, the chairman of the House Intelligence Committee. Up. Oh, actually, here come Republican um, members of that committee. Let's listen in. We, un we understand the reason why the State Department decided not to have Ambassador Sondland um, appear today. I mean, you, it's based on the unfair and partisan process that Mr. Schiff has been running. When you think about what the Democrats are trying to do impeach the President of the United States 13 months prior to an election based on an anonymous whistleblower with no first hand knowledge who has a bias against the President. And the guy running the process, Chairman Schiff, didn't even tell us that he had met with the whistleblower prior to the whistleblower filing the complaint. Adam Schiff didn't tell us that the way he treated Ambassador Sondland last week in this, Volker. excuse me, Ambassador uh, Volker in this uh, interview last week, that's, that treatment is, is the reason why the administration, the State Department said we're not going to subject Ambassador Sondland to the same treatment. And um, look, we were actually looking forward to hearing from Ambassador Sondland. We thought he was going to reinforce exactly what Ambassador Volker told us last week. But again, unfortunately, when you have a Speaker of the House who says we need to strike while the iron's hot, when you have a chairman of the committee who is so biased against this president that he wouldn't even tell us that he had met with his staff, had met with the whistleblower prior to the whistleblower filing the complaint. And frankly, this is a pattern with Mr. Schiff. He did the same thing. If you remember, the first big hearing the Democrats did this Congress, Michael Cohen, he didn't tell us that his staff had met with Mr. Cohen four hours prior to Mr. Cohen testifying. He didn't tell us that his, last summer he had met with Mr. Simpson out in Colorado, piling around with the guy with Fusion GPS. So this is a pattern. Um, like I said, we were hoping to hear from the ambassador today, but we understand exactly why the administration, exactly why the State Department has chosen to say, look, if it's going to be this kind of process, if you're going to selectively leak text messages, 67 pages of text messages we had, they, they take a handful and release to all of you, and not give the full context and not release the transcript, we understand why they made this, this decision at this, uh, at this moment. Some I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let some of my... Yeah, says he's All right, that uh, Republican view uh, of the world and the Democratic view of the world. Interesting there to hear Jim Jordan, uh, a staunch defender of the president, saying that he and Republican members of the committee were looking forward to hearing from yeah. Sondland as well, but, but uh, defending the decision to block his testimony, calling the impeachment inquiry an unfair and partisan uh, operation, of course, shift there. I think the news from the, the shift, the, the chairman is saying that uh, there are text messages and emails on a personal device of Ambassador Sunlin that the State Department has and is withholding from from the House. That that is new and pertinent to the investigation. That I don't know if Schiff and the Intelligence Committee have seen them, but mm -hmm. he did say that they are quote deeply relevant yeah. to the probe. So it would indicate that perhaps. They have. I, it also struck me, I don't know if it struck you, that we just heard Jim Jordan defending Sunland not testifying mm -hmm. and, and the State Department blocking that testimony, saying that it's because it, it is, a, in his view, a partisan investigation. Mm -hmm. Since when is it up to the State Department to determine if they like the investigation or not well, to a co-equal branch of government? Yeah, well, this, uh, that's been a fundamental position of this administration, right? Uh, they're blocking all requests for documents, subpoenas, etc., uh, going back through into the Mueller investigation. Listen, we have lots to talk about here. We have Jennifer Rogers, Susan Glasser, Sung Min Kim. Uh, Jennifer, help us understand from a legal perspective here. Actually, before I do that, just one quick fact check, because Jim Jordan said that uh, Adam Schiff met with the whistleblower prior. That's not true. He didn't meet with him. Uh, the whistleblower apparently reached out to the office and then was guided to, to issue uh, the whistleblower uh, complaint via the process. Um, so we just briefly fact check that. But, but what is the law here? It is, is the State Department, is the White House breaking the law by, by not uh, letting him testify? Well, as I understand it, this was actually a voluntary request and right. Sondland uh, agreed to appear voluntarily. So, so far they're not breaking the law or anything because there's no actual subpoena that's been issued. If mm -hmm. they issue a subpoena, and he does not appear pursuant to the subpoena, 
then yes, that is a problem. The problem with that is though, how's that going to be enforced? You know, the the norm, in normal course, it would go to the U.S. Attorney in Washington D.C. to uh, enforce the contempt on the subpoena, and that's a Trump appointee right. in the Trump Justice Department. So they don't have a lot of recourse here. But at minimum, they should go ahead and issue the subpoena because then right. he actually is doing something. Why do you? Th it, it struck me that we didn't hear Adam Schiff say that, unless I missed it. Mm -hmm. That he didn't say we will subpoena. You know, if not you know, that they will, will hold them in contempt. Why do you think that is? I'm not sure, and I think it's a mistake. It doesn't take them any time at all to go ahead and throw that subpoena out there. And then I think they're on stronger ground to say, you know, listen, we've done what we can here. We're trying to move forward with our legal process, and they're, you know, thwarting that at every turn. Okay, so, so news in there, Sungman Kim, you've been following this story closely. Uh, Schiff's saying that there are text messages and emails on a personal device of the EU ambassador, Sunland, that State Barn has and, and is withholding. Of course, these text messages relevant, Adam Schiff says, but, but you could see why to the investigation, because there were communications uh, about uh, this idea that, that military aid was being tied to this investigation of the Bidens. How significant is that, uh, that those, those emails and text messages are being held back? Um, it's very significant because I mean, we discussed earlier that there was definitely going to be a challenge, a much more of a challenge for these House committees, for these House Democrats to be able to obtain these documents, these text messages from Sondland because he had, he is still a current uh, State Department employee. He had turned them over to the State Department and it was really up to the administration. It was up to Secretary Pompeo and up to President Trump to kind of determine how much he would comply. But the fact that everything seemed to be going along, that he was going to testify this morning, that he was going to that that this came at the 11th hour was was really kind of uh, was really kind of stunning and I also want to point out the president did tweet about uh, the decision from um, the decision to not let ambassador Sondland testify about uh, maybe about 20 minutes or so ago when he said I would love to have him testify but he would be testifying before a totally compromised kangaroo court so I do think it's also significant and noteworthy here and Democrats will point out that the president Trump himself is taking ownership of not letting uh, ambassador Sondland testify Testify before the House today. Guys, let's listen to, I suppose, non answer mm -hmm. from the Secretary of State, Mike Pompeo, who's meeting uh, in Washington with the for Estonia's foreign minister, I believe, this morning. Obviously, a lot of the questions were surrounding Ukraine and this. Here's that moment. Thank you, all. Good morning. Susan, I mean, is that just what it's going to be? This is this is the face of the United States in terms of foreign policy on the world stage. Is he just going to walk away every time reporters ask questions about this? Because this, this inquiry is not going away. Well, that's right. Uh, Secretary Pompeo has taken a course of, uh, at times, refusing to answer, at times, uh, echoing and uh, uh, amplifying President Trump's own message. Uh, the other day, on a trip to Europe, he said uh, that not only was it appropriate, in his view, for President Trump to ask China and Ukraine to investigate his political rival, Joe Biden, but that uh, the United States had a duty to pursue such investigations because it was really all about corruption. So, you know, he has staked out a position to be President Trump's sort of most loyal foot soldier, as I found in, in reporting a big profile on him. But remember, this is the Congress, the former congressman uh, from the Benghazi investigation. You saw mm -hmm. uh, Jim Jordan, Mark Meadows there. Mm -hmm. uh, and their wingman was Mike Pompeo, uh, you know, who demanded documents yeah. from the State Department, who sat there and grilled Hillary Clinton for, I believe it was 13 hours. So to have uh, any witnesses refuse to testify uh, from the same group that produced the Benghazi investigation is a historic Historical irony, to say the least. I, th I think it's really one yeah. of those moments, right? Well, that's another endangered species in Washington principle, right? <laughs> so we'll, we'll drive ourselves crazy looking for it, I imagine. L listen, Jennifer Rogers, Susan Glasser, Simon Kim, so much to talk about. We know we're going to have you back. Uh, and, and of course, this morning we continue to follow all the breaking news. Another story that we're watching very closely this morning the NBA commissioner in China speaking out in the middle of this international crisis for the league. Uh, he has really changed his position on this. Uh, what he says about the league placing principles and values now above all else.
We trust USA more than any other company out there. They give us excellent customer service every time. Our 18-year-old was in an accident. USA took care of her car rental and getting her car towed. All I had to take care of was making sure that my daughter was okay. If I met another veteran and they were with another insurance company, I would tell them, you need to join USAA because they have better rates and better service. We're the Gomez family. We're the Rivera family. We are the Kirby family, and we are USAA members for life. Get your auto insurance quote today. My dental problem started as a child. I had a lot of cavities, root canals. Eating anything cold, it would hurt so bad. With dentures, they never fit properly. My confidence was really down. Always covering my face when I laughed. So I went in for a free consultation with Clear Choice. People come in with bad teeth or no teeth, and in one day, leave with the smile that they are looking for. The Clear Choice One Day Approach is making dental implants a reality for people all over the country who suffer from missing or failing teeth. They put these beautiful teeth in my mouth and I can eat ice cream, I can eat corn on the cob now. With over 30,000 new smiles across our network, we're lifting spirits and confidence all over America. Schedule your free consultation today. We'll even talk about financing options. I've never felt better than I do right now it's the best thing I've ever done in my life for myself. Everybody tells me, you look 10 years younger. Thank you, Clear Choice. Call Clear Choice today. My broker says, don't sweat it. Trust me. I'll tell you when it's time to do something. Baloney. Would you really trust your retirement to a guy who says, trust me? At Fisher Investments, we'll show you how to avoid common investing errors and stay on track to a comfortable retirement. Call now for your free copy of Fisher's The Eight Biggest Mistakes Investors Make so you can see how to avoid them. We'll also include our free bonus guide, Annuity Basics. Call 1-800-292-7788. We'll give you the time-tested insights to help keep you on the path to a comfortable retirement. Call for Fisher's The Eight Biggest Mistakes Investors Make and Annuity Basics, both free. Call 1-800-292-7788. If your retirement portfolio is $500,000 or more, Call us. We started Fisher Investments so folks can retire comfortably. That's no baloney. Call the family who wanted to connect to go where they could explore and experience adventure in unexpected places who were inspired by different cultures and found that the past can create new memories leading them to discover we're woven together by the moments we share for everywhere you go Expedia has everything you need all in one place Here's the thing about managing multiple clouds for your business. Oh. Oh. <laughs> when you've got public clouds and private clouds and hybrid clouds, things can get a bit cloudy for you. But now, there's the Dell Technologies Cloud. Powered by VMware, a single hub for a consistent operating experience across all your clouds. That should clear things up. Tremphia helps adults with moderate to severe plaque psoriasis get clearer. And Tremphia was proven superior to Humira in providing significantly clearer skin. Don't use if you're allergic to Tremphia. Tremphia may lower your ability to fight infections and may increase your risk of infections. Before treatment, your doctor should check you for infections and TB. Tell your doctor if you have an infection or symptoms or if you had a vaccine or plan to. Serious allergic reactions may occur. Tremphia. Get clearer. Janssen can help you explore cost support options. Hey, I'm Anderson Cooper. Welcome to Full Circle, my new show created exclusively for CNN's digital audience. There's a ton of news that happens every day outside of Washington. We're in Parkland, Florida. In Airsbury Park. I'll take you there, live weeknights at 5 p.m. Eastern.
Welcome back. Events moving quickly this morning. Uh, there was supposed to be a star witness on Capitol Hill this morning, uh, Gordon Sunland. That was blocked last minute. And then we just heard from the chairman of the House Intelligence Committee uh, saying that that might end up uh, as another um, act of obstruction of justice in a potential article of impeachment against this president. We're joined by Jennifer Rogers now, wealth of legal history here. Tell us what, to this point, an obstruction of justice article of impeachment might look like. What, what, what would be in there? So I think it will be an overarching article that covers all of what's been going on for really months and months now, which is the White House and other components of the Trump government time after time blocking the House from doing the inquiry that they've been involved in for months now. So you have things like happen today where they just block a witness with really no explanation at all. And going back to, say, Hope Hicks or Don McGahn, where they're asserting assertions of executive privilege that have no basis in law to say this witness can't come before you even though they don't work for the government anymore. So I would expect one big article, and then they'll just kind of list all of these different examples of how the House investigation has been obstructed, and then they'll vote on that. Uh, because Congressman Mike Quigley, who we just had on, who of course sits on the Intelligence Committee, said to us, quote, at this point in time, I believe there are multiple obstruction articles that this president would have to answer to. So uh, when you're looking at that, how long does a process like that play out? Because first you would want... Sunland to be subpoenaed. That would be the process, right? And we haven't yet heard if he will be, you would assume. I think they will. I mean, we heard today, I was surprised to hear how blatant it was that they're just saying, we're not coming because we think this is all bogus, right? They don't even have a reason. I mean, when Mike Pompeo first came out and said, state employees are not going to come on the schedule that you have issued because we need time to prepare, et cetera, they're not even saying that anymore. Yeah. So I think they should go ahead and issue the subpoena today. And then when he doesn't yes. comply, say tomorrow, <clears throat> then we have our reason why already and they can move forward with putting that together into an article. Here's uh, another piece of news in Chairman Schiff's comments just moments ago. Have a listen, and I want to get Jennifer's reaction. We know from the text messages that Ambassador Sondland was in discussion with Ukrainian counterparts, uh, with fellow diplomatic uh, personnel, and the president, uh, as well as at least uh, one U.S. senator, about the course of events that we are investigating. We know from those text messages that diplomatic personnel raised a concern with him uh, that military assistance was being withheld to secure help from Ukraine in the president's re-election campaign. We know that Ambassador Sondland had at least one discussion with a fellow diplomat on that very subject of why military assistance was being withheld. Schiff, Schiff went on to say that there are text messages and emails on a personal device that are being withheld from the State Department. I find that very interesting. I, I find it, first of all, interesting that they were moving conversations like this to personal, to devices. personal devices. And by the way, WhatsApp as opposed to State Department email, that's interesting to me. Yeah. But uh, tell us legally who has access now to these. Well, it sounds like uh, the ambassador gave them to the State Department. Mm -hmm. So the State Department, and you better believe the White House and other components of the Trump administration have them. But does, does, the, does the House Intel Committee, as an oversight body, have legal Well, they have access? the right to get them, of yeah. course, but they don't have them. They'll, they'll have yeah. to issue Are we a sure they don't have them? Because it's, I mean, Schiff said that they were deeply relevant. Mm -hmm. Well, I think what he means is the connection that Jim was talking about. You have them saying on the official lines of communication, hey, let's not talk about this. Let's move this online. Let's talk yeah. about Fair it enough. in a call. And then you have. So I think he's making some inferences there. But yeah. they have the right to subpoena them sure. for sure. It's very relevant right. to their Just inquiry. Just because you move phones doesn't mean people aren't going to see what you're talking about. And I think we can bet that the fact that this was all called off at the 11th hour has a lot to do with yeah. what the White House and others were learning about, what might be on those texts, and what the testimony was going to reveal about yeah. what happened. And I'll tell you, in my experience, speaking to sources in government, when they move a conversation to private email or private devices, there's a reason for that. Right. They don't want a government record of that conversation. True enough. So now the question becomes, Jennifer, thank mm -hmm. you, what will House Democrats do? Now that the White House has stepped in at the 11th hour and blocked the deposition of the EU ambassador, Gordon Sunland, we're following all of the breaking news. Stay right here.
Doug. Number 36 of the stakeout. As soon as the homeowners arrive, we'll inform them that Liberty Mutual customizes home insurance. So they'll only pay for what they need. Your turn to keep watch, Lima. You wake me up if you see anything. <laughs> only pay for what you need. Liberty, 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 Liberty. What gives me confidence about investment decisions? Rigorous, fundamental research. With portfolio managers focused on the long term. Who look beyond the spreadsheets to understand companies. From break room to boardroom. Who know the only way to get a 360 view is to go around the world to get it. Can I rely on deep research to help make quality investment decisions? With Capital Group, I can. Talk to your advisor or consultant for investment risks and information. You took me in and you wrapped your arms around me today. After being a part of millions of love stories. Will you marry me? Yes. At Kay, we've learned the most important love story will always be your own. Every yes, OMG yes, begins with K. Now during Poptober, save 20 to 40% on all bridal. I'm a bit of a design show addict, so it was really exciting to have my own before and after moment through Motsi. It blew me away. When I first looked at my room rendering, my mouth just fell open because I'd never seen my room this way. It's like this aha moment where you're just like, whoa, that's actually our living room. Working with our designer was really seamless. It was very easy to make the room what I wanted. I didn't think that we could have a house like out of a magazine. This is exactly what I want to come home to. Have you ever seen something so beautiful that all you could say was, wow, or walked on the world's best beach at a place that made you feel like you were in a dream where family comes first and fun is measured one ride at a time where you're served like royalty, but treated like family. Beaches, Turks and Caicos, where anything is possible because everything is included. Wow. Get up to 65% off. Call 1-800-BEACHES. Only Tylenol Rapid Release Gels have laser drilled holes. They release medicine fast for fast pain relief. Tylenol. Nine candidates, one night, one stage. Fight, Warren, Buttigieg, Harris, Booker, O'Rourke, Klobuchar, Steyer, Castro of CNN Presidential Town Hall. Equality in America, Thursday night, 7.30 Eastern, only on CNN. Bring your appetite, or bring a friend, or bring a friend with an appetite. Now buy one McDonald's sausage McMuffin with egg, bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit, large premium roast coffee, or sausage, egg, and cheese McGriddles, and get another of your choice for a dollar.
available for the Senate to present in a trial, and that may be what some senators use as their excuse not to vote guilt is the fact that the proof wasn't adduced. But again, it, there's common sense tells you there's, there's guilt all over this White House. They refuse to comply. They refuse to give depositions. They say, you know, Mueller, Trump said, I want to talk to Mueller. Then he didn't. And then when he gave a deposition, about a third to a half of his answers, I don't remember and I don't know. That, that's not being open with the public. And then today he tweeted an hour ago, I, I want Son Sunland to, to testify, but it's a kangaroo court. That, that's all hooey. That's all hooey. This, this is all hiding the truth, hiding the facts, and dodging. Uh, before you go, Congressman, uh, we have some new reporting from our Pamela Brown saying it is clear that the White House Counsel's Office is directing other government agencies. It advised the State Department to block Sunland's testimony. What's your reaction to the White House Counsel's Office telling the State Department that this ambassador cannot testify in defiance uh, of Congress? Well, the White House Counsel has done this over a period of time, and they filed, filed proceedings on behalf of Trump. The, the court in New York basically said that their, their, their claim that they were beyond being investigated or being in, in the state court uh, was just hooey. It was just a joke, and it was repugnant to the Constitution. What we see and what we saw yesterday with Trump saying that he was the, had the greatest wisdom and the most, um, in his infinite wisdom or great wisdom, some quote like that, we're seeing the Wizard of Oz being played out for the American public. He thinks he's the wizard. The wizard said he was the, 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 the powerful and the great. He was the powerful and the terrible. Trump saw the Wizard of Oz once too much. He's more like the scarecrow than he is the wizard. All right, or the man behind the curtain, Congressman Steve Cohen. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. And Good this morning, Re Republicans continue to stay mostly silent on President Trump's call to investigate Biden, but it is keeping their heads down and mouths shut the wisest move, a GOP strategist, and his take on all this coming up. This is the family who wanted to connect and find inspiration in new places, leading them to discover we're woven together by the moments we share. Everything you need, all in one place. Expedia. They're America's biopharmaceutical researchers, pursuing life-changing cures in a country that fosters innovation. Here, they find breakthroughs, like a way to fight cancer by arming a patient's own T-cells. Because it's not just about the next breakthrough, it's all the ones after that. Great riches will find you when Liberty Mutual customizes your car insurance. So you only pay for what you need. Wow, thanks, Oltar. How can I ever repay you? Maybe you could free Zoltar? Huh? Thanks, lady. Taxi! Only pay for what you need. Liberty, 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 liberty. Plants capture CO2. What if other kinds of plants captured it too? If these industrial plants had technology that captured carbon like trees, we could help lower emissions. Carbon capture is important technology, and experts agree. That's why we're working on ways to improve it, so plants can be a little more like plants. Do you recall not long ago we would walk on the sidewalk? All around when the wind blows, we would only hold on to let go. Blow a kiss. Someone to lean on Blow a kiss Into the sudden All we need is somebody to lean on All we need is someone to lean on This is the Nutrisystem sale you don't want to miss Introducing the two-for-one sale Get two months of food for the price of one It's like getting a month of food free Enjoy your favorite foods made healthier Perfectly balanced to put your body in fat-burning mode. 
Lose up to 13 pounds and 7 inches overall in your first month. I'm Marie and I lost 50 pounds with Nutrisystem. I lost 60 pounds with Nutrisystem. Count, measure, meetings, uh, not with Nutrisystem. Order your 28-day plan right now. You'll get specially designed meals. You get the right foods in the right portions, so you learn how to keep the weight off. Plus one week of Fresh Start Shakes with probiotics to shrink your belly free. There's even a money-back guarantee. This sale won't last. Get two months of food for the price of one. Good on every plan until you reach your weight loss goals. Call or go online right now. Go online or call 888-384-55 right now to get two for the price of one plus probiotic shakes free. It's a clear and present danger to the United States. Their mission, become a sleeper cell. It was spies versus spies. They're secrets for a reason. Nobody is untouchable. Declassified, Sundays at 9. Everyone uses their phone differently. That's why Xfinity Mobile lets you design your own data. You can share 1, 3, or 10 gigs of data between lines. Mix in lines of unlimited and switch it up at any time. All with millions of secure Wi-Fi hotspots and the best LTE everywhere else. It's a different kind of wireless network designed to save you money. Save up to $400 a year on your wireless bill. Plus, get $250 back when you buy an eligible phone. That's simple, easy, awesome. Call, click, or visit a store today. My cholesterol is borderline. I figure I can worry about it or do something about it. Garlic helps maintain healthy cholesterol safely and naturally. It's pharmacist recommended and it's odor free. I'm taking charge of my cholesterol with garlic. Is your credit card debt driving you batty? <laughs> one call to Consolidated Credit can lower your interest rate, consolidate your bills into one easy payment, and get you out of debt fast. Call 800 596 8058. 800 596 8058. This is Life with Lisa Lang, Sundays at 10 on CNN. Well, remember this big story yesterday. President Trump uh, is defending his decision to withdraw U.S. troops from northern Syria, this ahead of an impending Turkish invasion. The president's move came in spite of strong opposition from several top Republicans, including Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell. Their criticism very noteworthy, especially since most Republicans have stayed silent on another key issue, the president's public call for foreign governments to investigate his political rival, Joe Biden, and his son, Hunter. Doug High is here, Republican strategist, former RNC communications director, and our political commentator. Good morning, Doug. Good morning. So, you ran comms for the RNC. You were the deputy chief of staff for communications for former House Majority Leader Eric Cantor. Would you advise such stunning silence? Well, I think it depends on, on the issue. What we saw yesterday with a lot of Republicans, including Mitch McConnell, coming out on the issue with the Kurds and, and Turkey, that's an issue, that, that's a uh, policy issue. Republicans yeah. feel comfortable doing that. No, I when hear you, going... and I meant on the phone call, but the phone call, I mean, yeah. it, that's about such a critical thing to our democracy. Mm -hmm. Like, do sure. we ask foreign governments to interfere or not? So how is that sure. not and, a policy issue? And you, look, that should be low-hanging fruit, as should be, and I, I say this as somebody who helped set up the Benghazi committee. If, if Democrats said we're not testifying to the Benghazi uh, special committee, obviously Republicans would have had a real problem with it. There's a silence right now. I find it troubling, but I also find it understandable, having worked in communications roles on the Hill, where your job is to protect your boss, your job is to make sure that your boss gets reelected. And what we see, we often hear about Republicans having problems in primaries, having worked for Eric Cantor. I know that's true. Mm -hmm. But there are, also, there are also potential problems in general elections if you're uh, running in swing districts or, or really swing states um, in Senate races, where uh, you don't get any reward from your base if you speak out against Trump, and you don't yeah. really get any political reward from Democrats or independents if you do so as well. So you're damned if you do and damned if you don't as well. And it's as a staffer why I know a lot of Republican staffers on the Hill are getting requests for interviews and sliding into the trash can and telling their boss, we didn't get any requests today, I'll let you know about tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Okay, so imagine that self-preservation matters uh, in mm -hmm. politics in Washington for, for both parties here. But, but I wonder, as you see the polling change on this, you have the Washington Post poll out this morning, now 58% of Americans mm -hmm. uh, say they support the impeachment inquiry. That's up dramatically, up 21 yeah. points yeah. In, in just uh, two, three months now. Uh, but what notable, our David Chalian noted this, that among the GOP, that as you know, has been rock solid behind this president, support for impeachment has gone from 7%, negligible, to 28%. Still a minority.
minority, but that's a big jump among Republicans. Do, do Republican lawmakers see those numbers and start to reconsider? Not yet. They will if we see that in two or three more polls. Right now, we mm -hmm. want to know, huh. is that an outlier or is that a trend? If we get that mm -hmm. answer, yeah. you, might just, you might begin to see some more cracks. Look, obviously, Mitt Romney came out very forcefully um, over the weekend. That gives more permission. Members shouldn't need permission, mm -hmm. but the political yes. reality is that's what they look mm -hmm. for for them to, to, to speak out. And that. if you do, you'll see one or two, and then maybe the dam will burst. But I, I would tell you, again, having worked on, on the Hill and sometimes hidden interview requests from my, from my own bosses in the past, mm -hmm. you're not going to see a lot of Republicans speaking out because you, know, you see members speaking out in favor of Trump. Members look at that negatively and say, I don't want to do that. And they are very mindful that you don't score points with Donald Trump. Donald Trump yeah. doesn't give points. He only takes them away one at yeah. a time. Uh, Doug High, you never hid requests from Poppy and I, I assume. No I used interview. to never. like you, Doug. <laughs> never. Absolutely not. All right, and let I me would say that to everybody. <laughs> let me get your take. <laughs> Fingers crossed, find your back. Um, let, me, let me get your take on this. The L.A. Times piece this morning that was, was striking, it, in, it was interesting to me, the headline, Why Republicans May Want a House Vote on, on an Impeachment Inquiry and Pelosi Doesn't. And it reminds us of the history that in the Nixon and Clinton impeachment proceedings, the majority gave the minority the right to subpoena. Now, those subpoenas were also party to a vote, but it gave them that power. And what it's suggesting here is that Nancy Pelosi is essentially scared of giving that power to, to the minority because they yeah. could, say, subpoena Joe Biden. Yeah, I, I think there, I think that's a fair point to make. And if you look at, you know, it's troubling when you have people not showing up when they've been subpoenaed to hearings, and it should be troubling whether that's a Republican House or a Democratic House or regardless of what party the administration is in. But also, I think if you looked at hearings over the past few weeks, they've been terrible for Democrats. They've been terrible for Republicans, obviously terrible for the country. We've not learned the information that we need to. I'd love to tell you that there's a good, clear path forward, but I just don't see it right now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Uplifting, sorry. <laughs> Doug, hi, thank you. That's my you. mantra. Good, that is his gracious. mantra. Thank you. All right, uh, coming up, much more on that breaking news. The Trump administration's blocking the testimony of a key witness in this impeachment inquiry of the president. Stay right there. The CNN and New York Times Democratic presidential debate. Biden, Warren, Sanders, Buttigieg, Harris, Yang, Booker, O'Rourke, Steyer, Klobuchar, Gabbard, Castro. 12 candidates, one stage. Next Tuesday at 8, live on CNN. Okay, everyone. Our mission is to provide complete balanced nutrition for strength and energy. Great tasting Ensure with 9 grams of protein and 27 vitamins and minerals. Ensure for strength and energy. Fact, we all love video doorbells. Voice assistants have changed our lives. We now control our home with a touch. And you know what's better than all these things by themselves? All these things combined from the most trusted name in security, ADT. Today, you are going to become a cook. So how do we do it? Let's just follow the directions. It's like a life hack. I can't believe we made it. It's really good. Go to HelloFresh.com and join the number one meal kit company. Get eight free meals plus free shipping with code TVFREE at HelloFresh.com. Do you have concerns about mild memory loss related to aging? Prevagen is the number one pharmacist recommended memory support brand. You can find it in the vitamin aisle in stores everywhere. Prevagen, healthier brain, better life. Hi, my name is Sam Davis and I'm going to tell you about exciting plans available to anyone with Medicare. Many plans provide broad coverage and still may save you money on monthly premiums and prescription drugs. With Original Medicare, you're covered for hospital stays and doctor office visits. But you have to meet a deductible for each, and then you're still responsible for 20% of the cost. Next, let's look at a Medicare supplement plan. As you can see, they cover the same things as Original Medicare, and they also cover your Medicare deductibles and coinsurance. But they often have higher monthly premiums and no prescription drug coverage. Now. Let's take a look at Humana's Medicare Advantage plans. With a Humana Medicare plan, hospital stays, doctor office visits, and Medicare deductibles are covered. And of course, most Humana Medicare Advantage plans include prescription drug coverage. In fact, in 2018, Humana Medicare Advantage prescription drug plan members saved an estimated $7,400 on average on their prescription costs.
Advantage. Most Humana Medicare Advantage plans help you stay active and keep fit by including a Silver Sneakers fitness program at no extra cost. And you may be able to save on dental and vision expenses because coverage is now included with most Humana Medicare Advantage plans. You get all this coverage for as low as a $0 monthly plan premium in many areas. And your doctor and hospital may already be a part of Humana's large network. If you want the facts, call right now for the free decision guide from Humana. There is no obligation, so call the number on your screen right now to see if your doctor is in our network, to find out if you could save on your prescriptions, and to get our free decision guide. Licensed Humana sales agents are standing by, so call now. Yeah. Hair loss runs in my family, but I use Keeps, the easiest way to keep my hair. Keeps sends me clinically proven treatments that can stop my hair loss. Yeah! Learn more at Keeps.com. Without my medication, my small tremors would be extreme. Without it, I cannot write my name. I was diagnosed with Parkinson's. I had to retire from law enforcement. It was devastating. One of my medications is $3,000 per month. Prescription drugs do not work if you cannot afford them. For 60 years, AARP has been fighting for people like Larry, and we won't stop. Join us in fighting for what's right. If you do anything with regularity, you should get massaged with regularity. Join today and get two 30-minute upgrades for free. Massage Envy. Keep your body working. Closed captioning brought to you by Mesobook.com. Mesothelioma, it's all we do. With nine offices across the country, let us come meet with you. Call us at 1-800-213-8000. All right, welcome back. So we've just learned that one of the president's key allies on Capitol Hill would like the president's personal attorney, Rudy Giuliani, to now testify before the Senate Judiciary Committee. Armando Raju live now to explain, of course, Republicans control those committees in the Senate. So does this happen? And how do Democrats respond? It, it could certainly happen now that the Senate Judiciary Committee Chairman Lindsey Graham has made clear that he He's inviting Rudy Giuliani, the president's personal attorney, to testify before his committee. Now, he said in a series of tweets that he wants to give Giuliani the opportunity to answer questions. So this is not a subpoena, but this is an invitation for him to come. So ultimately, it will be Giuliani's decision. And uh, Giuliani uh, just responded to our colleague Michael Warren uh, saying, love Lindsay, but I am still a lawyer and I will have to deal with privilege. But he also says, given the nature of this invitation, about my concerns, I might be able to do it without discussing privileged information. Now, House Democrats have so far resisted the notion of bringing forward Giuliani to testify. They have not gone down that path yet because, in part, they're concerned about a spectacle being uh, happening if Giuliani were to testify, something that they, at the moment, have sought to avoid but they have subpoenaed Giuliani for documents to be turned over by next week, all about his efforts to urge the Ukrainian government to investigate the Bidens. There's no indication that Giuliani will comply with that. Plus, there are three Giuliani associates who have been scheduled to be to come for interviews and also asked uh, to turn over documents. And those individuals have not complied yet with the House Democrats' request. So Giuliani perhaps may work with a Republican chairman answer questions in that committee, but of course Democratic senators would have an opportunity to ask questions of Giuliani as well. But just the latest development here is a sign of how Republicans are trying to get involved and trying to push back and defend the president. And one way they believe doing so could be bringing Rudy Giuliani forward. But of course, that's a big risk too, guys. Manu, thank you very much for that update. We appreciate it. Well, there is a lot going on today, and here's what to watch. Seven passenger Infinity QX60. Luxury should be lifted. This morning, the commissioner of the NBA weighing in on the backlash over a controversial tweet by an executive. Adam Silver says he is defending our freedom of expression. But how costly could that be? 
for the NBA in China. Saturdays happen. Pain happens. Aleve it. Aleve is proven better on pain than Tylenol. When pain happens, Aleve it. All day strong. Investment mistakes? Oh boy, I've seen some doozies. Things like being too conservative, ignoring the long-term erosion of your wealth from inflation, or trying to time the market. And if you're retired or close to being, you may not have enough time to recover. So use your noodle and call for our free guide. 13 Retirement Investment Blunders to Avoid explains how even the most well-intentioned people may stumble on the road to retirement. With errors like working with an advisor who may not be a fiduciary, or getting stuck with annuities, or with mutual funds that have nosebleed level fees. Fisher Investments has helped thousands of people avoid regrets and achieve a comfortable retirement. Call 1-800-211-9966 for your free guide. And as a bonus, we'll send you our stock market outlook, a timely assessment on where the market goes from here, also free. If you have $500,000 or more to invest, you could achieve your investment goals without becoming your own worst enemy. Call 1-800-211-9966. We use Angie's List because we can always find great local pros. For any type of home project. I use Angie's List because it's free. Free to read reviews. Check their ratings. They can even match my project to qualified pros. Go to Angie'sList.com today. We're Oscar Mayer Deli Fresh, and you may know us from your very first sandwich. Your mammoth masterpiece, and whatever this was. Because we make our meat with the good of the deli and no artificial preservatives. Make every sandwich count with Oscar Mayer Deli Fresh. This is Pill Pack. It's my new pharmacy. They package my medication by the dose and deliver it right to my door. And the best part, their service is free. I only pay my copays. Does your pharmacy do that? Pill Pack, an Amazon company. I hop. Uh... Yes, we do have the new Adams Family menu. And for a limited time, kids eat free. I call shotgun. <laughs> Pancake with a kooky new Adams Family menu at IHOP and see the Adams Family in theaters. I created Hint Water to make water taste better. We started in one grocery store, now we're online and everywhere. And we couldn't have done it without NetSuite. NetSuite's cloud-based software gives me visibility and control of all my business systems. Budgeting, forecasting, supply chain, everything I need to keep growing. NetSuite makes running my business simple, so I can focus on what I love and what's next. Schedule your free product tour right now at netsuite.com slash grow. Oh, hey, buying a car from Vroom is so easy, all you need is a phone and a finger. Just scroll through amazing hand-picked low-mileage cars, then tap to buy. That's it. No sales speak, no wasted time. Just straight-up great cars, each with its own Carfax. Right from your phone to your driveway. <laughs> Thousands of cars priced below market value. Go to Vroom.com and pick your favorite. Oh, yeah, she digs it. Nine candidates, one night, one stage. Fight, Warren, Buttigieg, Harris, Booker, O'Rourke, Klobuchar, Steyer, Castro. Of CNN Presidential Town Hall. Equality in America. Thursday night, 7.30 Eastern. Only on CNN. Oh, oh, too cold. No hot water? Call Aztec Plumbing. Our professional plumbers can fix the problem in no time so you can enjoy the finer things in life. Aztec Plumbing. Quality service from our family to yours. There's been a lot of new in my life lately. New town, new job. It's all been pretty fantastic. You know what else is fantastic? Finding Suncoast Credit Union. Who knew? Anyone who lives along Florida's West Coast can bank there. I open my free Suncoast checking account online. No minimum balance. Lots of ATMs and locations. I even bank on my phone whenever, wherever. This gives me time to focus on living this new life. Your fantastic future starts here. See what banking at Suncoast can do for you. That's really loud. What? Noisy garbage disposal? Call Aztec Plumbing. Our professional plumbers can fix the problem in no time so you can enjoy the finer things in life. Aztec Plumbing. Quality service from our family to yours. Nobody is untouchable. Declassified. Sundays at 9. All right. While you were sleeping... Chinese state television suspended all NBA preseason broadcasts. That is a big deal. 
hundreds of millions of Chinese people watch the NBA. This all follows a tweet from the Houston Rockets general manager that was later deleted supporting those who are protesting in Hong Kong. Just hours ago, NBA Commissioner Adam Silver addressed the controversy, controversy now pledging his support for free speech. Listen to this. We are not apologizing for Daryl exercising his freedom of expression. I regret, again, having communicated directly with many friends in China that so many people are upset, including millions and millions of our fans. CNN sports analyst Christine Brennan is with me. Look, a lot has changed in 24 hours. Um, Adam Silver has reversed course here, I think being very clear. Let's listen to what he said because there are huge finance, financial implications of this, huge for the NBA. But it seems like he is saying our values and our interests as a society trump money. Listen. I understand that there are consequences from that exercise of, of in essence, his freedom of speech. And, you know, we, we will have to live with those consequences. What is your read on what has transpired in the last 36 hours? Poppy, the NBA is doing the right thing now. They should have been saying, and uh, Adam Silver, the commissioner, should have been saying this uh, 24, 36 hours ago, but he's saying it now. That's important. The blowback here in the United States was tremendous from journalists, from politicians, and the NBA needed to remember that the bedrock of the entire league is in the U.S., yeah. and it's about democracy and free speech, which is, of all things, the NBA is known for that much more than our other pro leagues. Yeah. The business side is important, uh, but I'm glad that Silver finally has settled in this position. Talk about the, you know, the, the outcry. Uh, initially, you had Republican Senator from Missouri, Josh Howley, tweeting that this was essentially groveling to the Chinese Communist Party. Uh, you have an editorial from the Washington Post that says, quote, if the NBA can so easily cave, who will resist the censorship of communist dictators? But the NBA, Adam Silver, has reversed course and taken a stand here. What does this mean for the league? I mean, you've got so much revenue that comes in from China. That is true, but I, I'm anxious to see, Poppy, how long before Chinese sports fans are not happy that they can't see the NBA. It's preseason yeah. right now. But we may see another shift in this story in terms of the fans in, in China. 500 million watched the NBA last year, better ratings in some cases than in the U.S. Uh, they're not going to be happy if they can't watch their, their beloved NBA. So this may have another turn yet yeah. that may benefit the NBA. The, China needs the NBA more than the NBA needs China. And I'm glad that Silver has finally uh, come to that position. That should that should be the headline of your next column, Christine. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a fascinating argument when you play it out. Let's talk about Adam Silver's leadership in this. Remember, when he came in as commissioner, he was confronted within weeks by the Donald Sterling controversy and the, the bigger question of racism in America. And, and the way that he handled that said so much about him as a leader, I think. So what does that this tell you about him as a leader? Again, that he was able to make this decision, that he, he it took a while. I, I'm sure that he wishes now, in hindsight, that they had come out stronger quicker in defense mm -hmm. of Daryl Morey and his ability to have free speech. And, of course, much more important, the, the Hong Kong protesters, his defense of them. Uh, but they're there now. And I think that shows the pivoting. You know, it, moving a, a league can be like trying to turn a, a, a cruise ship. Uh, mm -hmm. And so the fact that, that it did happen this way is a very positive development. And these sports organizations, need to understand something the International Olympic Committee did not. They gave the Olympics to Beijing in 2008, but they did not demand uh, human rights changes. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, that is a black mark in the international Olympic world. Here, the NBA has said, we've got power and we are going to make sure we say these things. Christine Brennan, well said. Thank you so much. Thank you, Poppy. Another story we're following, the parents of a British teenager killed in a fatal car crash are calling on President Trump now to intervene. This after the woman suspected in that crash, the wife of an American diplomat in the UK, fled the country. Harry Dunn was killed in August after crashing head-on with a car driving on the wrong side of the road. Investigators say the driver of that car was originally cooperating, but then left the country, claiming diplomatic immunity. Let's listen now to the parents of the victim just this morning on CNN. We don't know how she's feeling. We don't know whether she's 
um, remorseful, whether she's just managing to ignore it, get on with her life. Um, so anything, any contact from her would, would be a crumb of hope. Our understanding of the law is that the diplomats is uh, immune if they are in threat, not immune if they have caused an accident or actually killed somebody. Look and listen to what has happened and, 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 and try and see it from our point of view and our heartache. Mm -hmm. Family that lost their young son. Well, the State Department tells CNN the diplomatic immunity is rarely waived. We'll, of course, stay on top of that for you. We are learning a lot more about the Trump administration's latest and last-minute decision to block the Capitol Hill deposition of the U.S. ambassador to the European Union, Gordon Sunland. And what's the next move for Democrats? Uh, it, not clear there's a strategy here for forcing the White House hand. Right. Stay with CNN. A lot more to come. This delicious meat Toberfest sandwich features beer-braised beef, beer cheese, and a pretzel bun. So it only makes sense that you want to wash it all down with an ice-cold, mellow yellow. Arby's, we have the meat. And Doug. Number 36 of the stakeout. As soon as the homeowners arrive, we'll inform them that Liberty Mutual customizes home insurance. So they'll only pay for what they need. Your turn to keep watch, Lima. Wake me up if you see anything. <laughs> Only pay for what you need. Liberty, 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 liberty. This is your wake-up call. If you have moderate to severe rheumatoid arthritis, month after month, the clock is ticking on irreversible joint damage. Ongoing pain and stiffness are signs of joint erosion. Humera can help stop the clock. Prescribed for 15 years, Humera targets and blocks a source of inflammation that contributes to joint pain and irreversible damage. Humera can lower your ability to fight infections. Serious and sometimes fatal infections, including tuberculosis and cancers, including lymphoma, have happened, as have blood, liver, and nervous system problems, serious allergic reactions, and new or worsening heart failure. Tell your doctor if you've been to areas where certain fungal infections are common, and if you've had TB, hepatitis B, are prone to infections or have flu-like symptoms or sores. Don't start Humira if you have an infection. Help stop the clock on further irreversible joint damage. Talk to your rheumatologist. Right here, right now. Humera. What gives me confidence about investment decisions? Rigorous fundamental research. With portfolio managers focused on the long term. Who look beyond the spreadsheets to understand companies. From break room to boardroom. Who know the only way to get a 360 view is to go around the world to get it. Can I rely on deep research to help make quality investment decisions? With Capital Group... I can. Talk to your advisor or consultant for investment risks and information. In 2015, we took a surf trip to Bali, Indonesia and saw firsthand just how bad the world's plastic pollution crisis really is. We started cleaning the ocean by ourselves until 2017 when we started our ocean cleanup company, 4Ocean. And to date, we've removed over 2 million pounds of trash from the ocean. All of our cleanup efforts are funded entirely through the sale of our bracelet. Every bracelet purchased helps fund the removal of one pound of trash from the ocean and supports the 4Ocean cleanup movement. So visit 4Ocean.com today to become part of the solution. My car is my after work decompression zone. So when my windshield broke, I found the experts at Safelite Auto Glass. They have exclusive technology and service I can trust. Safelite Repair, Safelite Replace. On the next episode of This Is Life with Lisa Lang. The ban on women in combat, it's over. A male-dominated world for generations. There's a lot of testosterone. Everyone would always tell me, you're not going to make it. I wanted to prove everyone wrong. These females are here to fight. We all wear the same color. We all do the exact same job. Follow them. Team leader, go, go, go. Come go. Meet the new face of the Marines. This is Life with Lisa Lane, Sunday at 10 on CNN. Devices are like doorways that could allow hackers into your home. And like all doors, they're safer when locked. That's why you need Xfinity XFi. With the XFi Gateway, devices connected to your home's Wi-Fi are protected, which helps keep people outside from accessing your passwords, credit cards, and cameras, and people inside from accidentally visiting sites that aren't secure. And if someone tries, we'll let you know.
XFi Advanced Security. If it's connected, it's protected. Call, click, or visit a store today. The new iMart Express Store is now open in Naples. With a huge selection of frames, including designer brands. All at everyday low prices. Two weeks for glasses? No! We can make them in as little as 30 minutes. Two pairs start at $38.71, and two pairs with progressive lenses just $76.92. For the best value in eyewear, we've got the right team at iMart Express. Right glasses. Right price. Right now. Woo! Now open in Naples on Pine Ridge Road next to T-Mobile. This is CNN, the most trusted name in news. Hello, everyone. I'm Kate Baldwin. Thanks so much for joining me. We start this morning with an unexpected twist in the impeachment inquiry, a last-minute decision from the White House to block a key witness from testifying on the Hill today. And the chair of the House Intelligence Committee now saying that the State Department is withholding text messages and emails on a personal device that are, quote, deeply relevant to the investigation. Minutes before EU Ambassador Gordon Sundland was set to appear before the three House committees, the White House stopped him. And Adam Schiff says of his testimony, it's hard to overstate. are, quote, deeply relevant to the investigation. Minutes before EU Ambassador Gordon Sundland was set to appear before the three House committees, the White House stopped him. And Adam Schiff says of his testimony, it's hard to overstate the significant. Diamond, he's at the White House. CNN senior congressional correspondent Manu Raju is on the Hill. Manu, first to you. What are you hearing about everything that's already happened this morning? Well, there are major questions right now on Capitol Hill about whether or not other witnesses who the committee wants to talk to will come forward in the aftermath of the State Department making taking this move, saying that Sondland should not testify today, and, and Ambassador Sondland saying that he would listen to the State Department. Other State Department officials also are, have been in the works to come and testify, including the former ambassador to Ukraine, Yovanovitch, Marie Yovanovitch, and she had been testified, scheduled to testify later this week. Now, she is no longer the ambassador. And articles of impeachment like this as obstruction Congress potentially not go down the route they've gone all year which is to fight these matters in court to get some of these witnesses to come forward but instead could said cite this is all part of an effort by the White House to undermine a co-equal branch of government now one of the reasons why by Kurt Ver a diplomat for the United States uh, in in Ukraine and in one of the text messages that he released, he showed these conversations that were occurring about the, this aid that was being withheld and the decision by the president to ask for the investigations into his political rival, Joe Biden. And here, uh, in one of these text messages uh, from uh, Bill Taylor, an ambassador, said, are we now saying that security assistance in White House meeting conditioned on investigations? Sondland responds, call me. So that was a question today. What did you mean by call me? Now, Republicans came out afterwards, Kate, and they said that the reason why that he didn't come today is because they don't believe the Democrats have had a fair process. But I did ask the Republicans whether or not they have any concerns about the president himself asking for foreign governments to investigate his political rivals. Take a listen. Do you have any concerns about what we're talking about here? The president asking foreign government, one Ukraine, to investigate Joe Biden, and also the president saying last week that China should investigate Joe Biden. Do any of you have concerns about that? The president's doing his job. President, when, when you're talking about the hard-earned tax dollars of the American people going to a foreign government, the president's going to make sure that there is no corruption there. He's doing his job, his duty as the commander-in-chief, his duty as the president of the United States. Now, Kate, we could see Republicans also move forward in bringing forward Rudy Giuliani on the Senate side after Chairman Lindsey Graham of the Senate Judiciary Committee invited the president's personal attorney to come and testify himself. So we'll see how that happens. But House Democrats so far have avoided taking that step.
Kate. Manu, much more to come. I just keep this soundbite right next to me so I can read it every time this comes up. Because as Manu was just showing us, Jim Jordan saying that the president's doing his job and showing that he wants to root out corruption where it is, where it may exist. Last week, on Friday, the president was asked point blank, have you asked foreign leaders for any corruption investigation that does not involve your political opponents? The president's response to reporters then was, we would have to look into that. That's it. I'm just going to keep repeating it. Manu, thanks so much, man. I really appreciate it. Okay, Jeremy, let's get over to you at the White House. What is the White House saying about this? Uh, well, Kate, what we're learning is that the White House indeed consulted with the State Department over this decision uh, to block Gordon Sondland, the ambassador to the European Union, from testifying on Capitol Hill this morning. That came after discussions late last night between administration officials uh, over Sondland's deposition. One of the key uh, factors weighing on the White House right now is how much they should cooperate with these House inquiries at, at the same time as they are also pressuring the House Speaker Nancy Pelosi to actually uh, bring this uh, for a vote on the House floor, to formally vote to open an impeachment inquiry. That's something that the House Speaker has insisted that she is under no obligation to do, pointing to the Constitution, of course. Um, but uh, this does fit into a broader strategy that we're seeing from this White House of kind of testing the limits of how much they can disobey uh, these requests from Congress, a co-equal branch of government, of course. And one source familiar with the impeachment discussions uh, has said now the days of playing nice are done and that does appear to be the strategy now from the White House and if you look over at the president's Twitter feed that much is also clear he put out a tweet uh, this morning saying I would love to send Ambassador Sondland a really good man and great American to testify but unfortunately he would be testifying before a totally compromised kangaroo court where Republicans rights have been taken away and true facts are not allowed out for the public now there is no evidence to back up the president's claim that this is somehow a kangaroo court. This is, in fact, a uh, request that we're seeing from the House, uh, which, of course, here is about being nice or not nice. Isn't it just about getting to the truth and actually just the rule of law and two co-equal branches of government? Jeremy, thanks so much. I'm going to get off my soapbox and bring in other people to be on their soapbox right now. Joining me right now is former federal prosecutor, CNN legal analyst Ellie Honig, CNN legal analyst Ross Garber, who is something of an impeachment expert that we really rely on him today, and CNN political correspondent Abby Phillip. Abby, first to you, uh, what do you, what do the Democrats do now? I mean, now it's, you know, I guess in the short term it's moved to subpoenas, but yeah. if the White House is now officially not going to be playing nice since it was playing nice so much. It goes. It seems like, based um, on our reporting last night, was was, which is, it, this is extraordinary in and of itself. We had mm -hmm. known for days that Sondland was going to testify. The White House decided last night to block this testimony. So something happened last night where they decided to change their strategy. And our reporting is that it's because they decided uh, that that they are no longer going to play play nice with investigators. Now the House Democrats can move towards subpoenas, but subpoenas may may not even uh, end up forcing this testimony either, because we've seen the White House using all kinds of convoluted legal arguments to prevent uh, documents from being being procured but then listen to what Adam Schiff said he was very clear that we will use this as evidence of obstruction that can become an article of impeachment it's very possible Kate the Democrats might just add this to the pile of things that they want to, to create uh, use as articles of impeachment and simply move toward that vote yeah Ellie why do you think Adam Schiff revealed when he when he when he spoke earlier this morning that the State Department in his view what he said is withholding a personal device that has text messages and emails of Sondland's um, with more messages on it that are relevant to the investigation what is he doing there he's trying to answer the question of why do you need this because people might say well you already have the text messages you already have his words why do you need you our already testimony have the president's words right and, and the and the, the answer to that is there's more out there right let's attention all investigators prosecutors, detectives, always assume every public official is doing some business on their personal phones. We've seen it time and again, and that tends to be the stuff that you don't want to be captured by subpoena or by Freedom of Inf Information Act request. That's where the really good stuff is, and I think Schiff is giving us a little bit of a movie trailer there. He's telling us there's something we believe even better than the text we've already seen out there, and that's the reason that we're pushing so hard to get his testimony and to get additional forget, evidence. Forget better, forget better or worse, maybe more important to the re relevant to this investigation. Exactly. Right? I mean, Ross, so 
The, this formal uh, vote on the House floor over launching impeachment, impeachment proceedings. Democrats have so far been resisting it. I've asked every single one of them, and they don't think they need it. It's not required by the Constitution. The White House, the president, wants it and is insisting on it, and that's part of what's going on behind the scenes of stopping Sondland, you should say. What would a formal vote on the floor to launch impeachment proceedings actually do? So there, there are two parts of it. Uh, the Speaker is right. Under the Constitution, a formal vote of impeachment it, uh, process or proceedings is not necessary at all to impeach a president. Not necessary under the Constitution. The two places where it actually is important, uh, one is if the Democrats actually do want to go to court and try to enforce subpoenas, it could matter in a battle over executive privilege that the House... Uh, for the first time in a presidential, in a modern presidential impeachment, did not vote to begin impeachment proceedings. So that's one. The second is in this notion of fairness of the process. Uh, the president, not surprisingly, is saying, well, wait a minute. If it was good enough to start an impeachment process in Nixon this way, and it was good enough to start it in Clinton this way, why not do it here? Why not put the White House on official notice? Why not sort of engage in a regular process? And related to that, I think we're also going to see a battle over the rules that the committees are using to conduct these investigations. In both Nixon and Clinton, there were rules that permitted, for example, the president's lawyers to conduct cross-examination and to call witnesses. Right. That's not here either. And I think what the White House would be saying is, look, if you're going to do an impeachment process, do it the way it was done in Nixon and Clinton. Do that here. Valid, a, a valid question. It still does not stop where we are in this moment of if, if someone that would wanted to voluntarily testify before Congress had been offering himself up and then was blocked because he's still, you know, an employee of, uh, of the State Department. Abby, then there are these impeachment poll numbers coming out um, in a new Washington Post poll, and they are rough for the president. The reason they are relevant, I'm going to go back to some of Jamie Gingell's reporting, which is Republicans told her behind the scenes what they're watching. Watch the polls, watch the polls, watch the polls yeah. on where they stand on if they're going to speak publicly or not on this whole thing. 58% of those polled now support an impeachment inquiry where previous polls had majorities actually opposing impeachment, the, the proceedings. That includes a shift among Republicans. Now it's 28% of Republicans support an impeachment inquiry. That's nearly 3 in 10. It sounds small, but when you look at where it was, that's a 21-point jump among Republicans since the Washington Post started asking this question in July. We don't yeah. see this kind of number of Republican move against the president really on anything. What do you think this does, if anything, to the conversation on the Hill? Well, it changes uh, the dynamic of the debate. The direction of the debate is heading in the wrong place for Republicans. And you know who else is paying attention to these polls? It's President Trump, who, mm. I should say, often doesn't believe them, but uh, but he's cognizant that polls matter. He mentioned polls twice yesterday when talking to reporters. So uh, so this is something that, that makes a difference, particularly on the margins. Uh, this is a national poll. It's a snapshot of where the nation at large is, but for a lot of Republicans on the Hill, they're looking state by state, district right. by district. And some districts, you know, impeachment is not a winner. Uh, in, in some of these districts where Democrats are sitting in seats that Republicans won, impeachment may not be a winner. But for some Republicans who are in these marginal districts that are that are really uh, the battlefield for this next election, they're going to start to worry because the president is losing his margin here. And I think that's a very troubling sign for the party overall. Some super important perspective. You guys, thank you so much. million more questions. It uh, looks like we have a million more hours to actually discuss this. So what happens now, though, in the most immediate? Will Democrats be able to get the answers that they say they are looking for? A key member of one of those key committees is joining us next. Plus, putting his life on the line again. I sit down with a former military photographer who risked everything to expose the atrocities committed against his people. And he is calling on Congress now to take action. Much more ahead. The amount of student loan debt I have, I'm embarrassed to even say. I felt like I was going to spend my whole adult life paying this off. Thanks to SoFi, I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. As of 12 p.m. today, I am debt free.
Not owing anyone anything is the best feeling in the world. I cannot stop smiling about it. Today, your information is more exposed than ever. When you shop, bank, or browse online, you're vulnerable to cyber criminals. More threats demand more protection. That's why Norton and LifeLock are now one, combining device security, VPN for online privacy, and LifeLock identity theft protection, backed by a million dollar protection package. Get all in one protection for $9.99. Take a quick look in the mirror. See those bags under your eyes? You can simply get rid of them with Genucel. You can now look 10 years younger in 10 minutes. Look at these astonishing transformations. Puffy bags and dark circles are disappearing, revealing a visible younger looking appearance. Genucel is the original plant stem cell therapy that delivers dramatic results virtually instantly. The first time that I tried Genucel, I immediately saw a difference under my eyes and I felt like there was hope for my skin. Guys like things that are easy. Do it, get it done, and let's move on. And with Genucel, it was, it was easy to do that. The Genucel secret? Plant-based stem cells that quickly diminish the appearance of dark bags and puffiness. What really sets Genucel apart from any other skincare is our base healing flower extracts and essential oils, not petroleum byproducts and harmful preservatives. Plant-based stem cells quickly diminish the appearance of dark bags, puffiness, and reduces pore size. The result you'll see is a noticeable difference and look years younger in minutes. The first time I used Genucel, I thought, wow, I finally found a product that works. You know you want to look and feel younger, so call or go online now to get up to 75% off Genucel. They've sold over 1 million products. But let's not forget about those droopy eyes. Genucel's new eyelid treatment lifts droopy eyelids, opening your eyes, so you appear younger and more youthful. The first time I tried Genucel, I thought, ooh, this feels like a little mini facelift. Why look older before your time? Get ready to look younger with Genucel. Order now and save 75% off retail. You'll also get the breakthrough Genucel eyelid treatment for droopy eyelids and Genucel's immediate effects for results in minutes. This crazy offer is backed by our 100% money-back guarantee. Go to GenuCell.com now or call the number on your screen. That's GenuCell.com. At Wayfair.com, we think that when the big stuff ships free, it's just better. Cover better, brunch better, crunch better, rock better, roll better, roll better, dream better, clean better. Yeah, better! Oh, Wayfair has free shipping. Game changer. Fast better, free better, everything's better when it's free. Free shipping or orders over $49. Shop better at Wayfair.com. Wayfair, you've got just what I need. Let's hide in the attic. No, in the basement. Why can't we just get in the running car? Are you crazy? Let's hide behind the chainsaws. <laughs> you okay? If you're in a horror movie, you make poor decisions. It's what you do. Shh, I'm being quiet. Breathing on me. If you want to save 15% or more on car insurance, you switch to Geico. It's what you do. This is Pill Pack. I take medication every day, which means I spend a lot of time waiting at the pharmacy. <sighs> Man. Oh, yeah, yeah. All seven. No, just make a left by the books. That's why I switched to PillPack. They deliver my medication right to my door. So, no more waiting. And the best part, their service is free. I only pay my co-pays. Does your pharmacy do that? PillPack, an Amazon company. Closed captioning brought to you by Mesobook.com. Mesothelioma, it's all we do. With nine offices across the country, let us come meet with you. Call us at 1-800-213-8000. Democrats completely caught off guard this morning after the White House makes a last-minute move to block a key witness from testifying to Congress today in the impeachment inquiry, pushing this standoff between the Trump White House and Congress to a whole new level. So what happens 
now. Joining me right now is a member of one of those House committees that was set to interview Ambassador Gordon Sondland today, Democratic Congressman Adriano Espiat. Congressman, thanks for being here. Thank you, Kate. When did you learn that Sondland wasn't going to be able to I learned appear? about it this morning, and again, this is uh, sort of like a classical Nixon-type Watergate action, which is that the cover-up often becomes even worse than the crime itself. So uh, the, the White House and the State Department continue to orchestrate this massive cover up by stopping witnesses that had actually prepared to testify because all indications all indications from uh, publicly were that he wanted to testify this was he voluntarily wanted to come in is that the impression that you had that's the impression but you know he had the, the back and forth with the Texas with Volcker and so we want to know about this and he had prepared to testify and all of a sudden he gets a call from the White House. What was the key for you that you wanted to get, that you wanted to learn from him? Well, we want to know uh, what they were talking about because the, the conversation was kind of murky. At one point he says, give me a call. He may be able to tell us why he wanted him to call him, why he wanted a bulker to call him mm -hmm. and, and what was behind that, uh, that type of interaction. So, and this is critical to the investigation. Did you know, uh, one thing that Adam Schiff said this morning is that one thing that he has been made aware of is that there is this personal device that the State Department is withholding that has text messages and I believe he said emails that are deeply relevant to the investigation. Um, what do you know about that? Well, you know, again, Kate, just like in, in the Nixon Watergate investigation, as more evidence is, uh, surfaces and as we move forward, we'll see more of this. I don't know exactly what's in, in that okay. device, okay. but I do know that the more we hear witnesses uh, speak about this, the more evidence we get, like the Nixon tapes, uh, the American people will begin to understand this even better. And even Republicans are now going to begin to shift their position on, on impeachment. Do you are you sure of that? I think the Republicans will shift up. We, we've seen uh, Senator Romney, how he's, mm -hmm. he's, what he's doing in the Senate. I, I, we've seen some governors also on their position of impeachment. And, I th and, and you've seen the poll numbers, right? So the more evidence that you get from these witnesses that are being obviously told not to testify, I think the American people will have a fuller grasp of this so, whole investigation process. I, 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 there are like two minds of this. Is there more information that you need if you have the president saying what he said publicly and said it, said it several times in terms of wanting Ukraine to investigate, wanting China to investigate a political, a political rival? But if you want information from Sondland, if you want the White House to not block everyone, how are you going to do that? I mean, you've got subpoenas. You, you, mm -hmm. can, you can issue a subpoena. What's issue the subpoenas. next step? I mean, well, you know, the, because the, right now it's just a lot of talk and wait and you should and you can't and it's we're not seeing it there are several avenues right now the more they do that the more we build our case regarding another article of obstruction of justice right in the end you think that's where this leads well, that that's one way maybe contempt as well and slap them slap them with some fines that's another avenue that i, I would like to look into i have heard that since the Mueller investigation like yeah, I, well, no one's been slapped with a fine and I no wish, one's and, no, we, and we i have not take yet heard good, sergeant at arms no, put this we, person in handcuffs. We, we, we should take a good look at that but i'm I not saying i'm promoting i'm just saying i have heard this story before. but we should take a good look at that but i tell you what uh Clearly, this investigation is, uh, we have the, it's the rule of law, really. This is about three things. National security is one, because Ukraine okay. is a strong ally of the United States, and all of a sudden, we're putting them at peril vis-a-vis uh, -vis Russia. This is about betrayal, the oath of office, right? This is about, about that as well. And so, uh, the, and article, article 1, Section 2, Clause 5, this is the power, this is about oversight as well, and the separation of powers and the checks and balances in the Constitution. Okay. So do you think that there's another, you know, the former Ukraine ambassador was supposed to be testifying today, uh, I'm sorry, on Friday, do you think she's going to appear? I hope so. I, look, they're going to stonewall this investigation. But do you think it's actually going to happen? I think that the more they do, the further... This is quicksand for them. The more they, the more they try to stonewall and, and, and obstruct the investigation, the deeper they'll get into the quicksand. One of the things that we've heard from the president, we've heard from uh, many a Republican as well, is that hold this formal vote that, on the floor to launch impeachment proceedings... Um, and that is the way the process has no, we worked. Don't, no, no, not required, but that is the way the process has worked in the last two presidential impeachment proceedings with Nixon and with Clinton. We're so following the letter vote, of the law. We're following hold, the rule of law. But if it we was, don't have to do that. But if it was okay for the Nixon impeachment well, proceedings, it was okay for the Clinton impeachment proceedings. Why not hold the vote if 
it gets things moving faster for you guys. We have to comply with the law. We have to comply if it slows with you the down, articles of the Constitution but if it slows that you down, mandate, then right. us, then mandate us to do this. So are you, is and it, and those, those, those uh, articles uh, in the Constitution tell us that we do not have to do this. We you do don't have, have to, to but you can. Engage. You don't have to, we, but you, know, you we, can. We choose our path as a duly elected member of Congress, mm -hmm. an independent branch of government, the legislature. We choose the path that we think is the right path. And in this case, we have chosen not to do that. If it gets you witnesses faster to get you the information you want faster, why not? Is I, it only I, I because don't, you don't? I don't think that they will, they will adhere to that. I don't think that they will comply with our, with our subpoenas. I don't think that that will make it easier You don't for think us. this is a linchpin to getting them to agree? Of course not. They, they've, they've already uh, come to grips with, with their reality, which is that they're going to obstruct this investigation, that they're going to try to delegitimize this investigation which is fully legitimate and is embedded very deeply in the Constitution of the United States of America. Let's see what happens in the next five minutes. Congressman, thank you for thank coming you in. So much, Have you thank much you so often. much. Thank you very much. Coming up for us, risking it all. His job was to document car accidents, accidental deaths for the government. And then there was the moment he realized he was actually photographing torture. And now he's calling on Congress to act. The I am pleading is for the American people to please save the Syrian people, save these people that do not deserve the hellish nightmare that they're living in. More from our conversation next. Saturdays happen. Pain happens. Aleve it. Aleve is proven better on pain than Tylenol. When pain happens, Aleve it. All day strong. Hi, Hop. How can I help you? So that's a stack of Wednesday's web cakes, Morticia's haunted hot chocolate, and kids eat free. You could say that again. Pancake with a kooky new Adams Family menu at IHOP and see the Adams Family in theaters. My broker says don't sweat it. Trust me. I'll tell you when it's time to do something. Baloney. Would you really trust your retirement to a guy who says, trust me? At Fisher Investments, we'll show you how to avoid common investing errors and stay on track to a comfortable retirement. Call now for your free copy of Fisher's The Eight Biggest Mistakes Investors Make so you can see how to avoid them. We'll also include our free bonus guide, Annuity Basics. Call 1-800-292-7788. We'll give you the time-tested insights to help keep you on the path to a comfortable retirement. Call for Fisher's The Eight Biggest Mistakes Investors Make and Annuity Basics, both free. Call 1-800-292-7788. If your retirement portfolio is $500,000 or more, Call us. We started Fisher Investments so folks can retire comfortably. That's no baloney. Call 1-800-292-7788. 1-800-292-7788. Hey there, people eligible for Medicare. Give me two minutes, and I'll tell you some important things to know about Medicare. First, it doesn't pay for everything. Say this pizza is your Part B medical expenses. This much about 80% Medicare will pay for. What's left, this slice here, well, that's on you. And that's where an AARP Medicare Supplement Insurance Plan, insured by United Healthcare Insurance Company, comes in. This type of plan helps pay some of what Medicare doesn't. And these are the only plans to carry the AARP endorsement. That's because they meet their high standards of quality and service. Want to learn more? It's easy. Call United Healthcare Insurance Company now and ask for this free decision guide. Inside, you'll find the range of AARP Medicare supplement plans and their rates. Apply anytime, too. Oh, speaking of time, about a little over halfway, and there's more to tell. Like how with this type of plan, you'll have the freedom to choose any doctor who accepts Medicare patients. Great for staying with the one you know or finding somebody new, like a specialist. There are no networks and no referrals needed. None. And when you travel, your plan will go with you anywhere in the country. So if you're in another state visiting the grandkids, stay a while, enjoy, and know that you'll still be able to see any doctor who accepts Medicare patients. So call United Healthcare today. They are committed to being there for you. Tick, tick, tick. Time for a wrap up. A Medicare supplement plan helps pay some of what Medicare doesn't. You know, the pizza slice. 
It allows you to choose any doctor who accepts Medicare patients. And these are the only plans of their kind endorsed by AARP. Phew. Call United Healthcare today and ask for this free decision guide. The CNN and New York Times Democratic presidential debate. Biden, Warren, Sanders, Buttigieg, Harris, Yang, Booker, O'Rourke, Steyer, Klobuchar, Gabbard, Castro. 12 candidates, one stage. Next Tuesday at 8, live on CNN. Sometimes your small screen is your big screen. And with the Xfinity Stream app, which is free with your service, you can take a spin through on-demand shows or stream live TV. Download your DVR shows and movies on the fly. Even record from right where you are. Keep what you watch with you. Download the Xfinity Stream app today. Because Xfinity Stream TV Week is here. Watch shows like South Park and The Walking Dead now through October 13th. I could have gone anywhere in the country for cataract surgery. Karen, an attorney from Los Angeles, flew all the way to Naples, Florida for her cataract procedure at Montgomery Eye Center. The people in Naples are fortunate to have an eye center like this. I'm very happy with the results. I just had my surgery yesterday, but immediately I could see so much better. Let our cataract concierge answer your cataract questions by calling Montgomery Eye Center at 239-261-8383. Nobody is untouchable. Declassified, Sundays at 9. This just into CNN. The Justice Department has agreed to give the House more than 30 memos from the Mueller investigation for use in the current impeachment inquiry. So what does this mean and what is in these memos? Let's get to CNN's Jessica Schneider, who's been gathering some more details on this. Jessica, what are you learning? Well, Kate, this is just another front in this battle over access for documents. All morning long, while we've seen everything happening on Capitol Hill, there has been a battle happening in the federal court here in Washington, D.C. And basically, the uh, general counsel for the House of Representatives has been battling with the Department of Justice over access to memos that stem from the Mueller report and the Mueller investigation. Uh, the House general counsel saying that up until this point, the Department of Justice just hasn't given them the memos that they need. These are memos that document some of the interviews that Robert Mueller did with, for example, former White House counsel Don McGahn. So now the Department of Justice saying that it has agreed to give the House of Representatives at least 33 FBI memos, but the key here is that many of those memos will be redacted. So this is a big fight that's happening in court, and what's interesting about this fight, Kate, is that this really is showing just how broad this impeachment inquiry could be. This whole fight over the access to documents, uh, the DOJ has been pushing back on it, saying, of course, that there's never been a vote for a formal impeachment inquiry. And the uh, general counsel for the House of Representatives here saying we don't need a formal vote to do our jobs to look into this, to launch this impeachment inquiry. And crucially here, Kate, the House general counsel saying that this impeachment inquiry stems far beyond just the Ukraine issue. And crucially, in court today, the uh, House general counsel saying that the president could in fact be impeached just for lying to the American public. So again, this shows just how broad the scope is in this impeachment inquiry stemming from the House and this battle today playing out in court at the same time we're seeing the battle play out on Capitol Hill too. Kate? Fascinating because the focus has been so squarely on the Ukraine issue, if we call it that. Right. And now we re are reminded it is, it is definitely far beyond. Jessica, thanks so it much. Is. Much more to come on that. We'll be right back. It's here. Time to get in a tree, knock an arrow, and disappear. This is what you've prepared for. He's moving more in daylight, and whenever you can, you'll be hunting dawn to dusk. This is what you live for. It's your season. So hurry to Great Outdoor Days at Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's, where you can save big on great gear from top brands like Redhead, Cabela's, and Blackout. Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. We're reporters from the New York Times. No flights, no roads. We're trying to figure out what animals are being affected. The Galapagos is a really challenging place to work. El Nino starting to go haywire. Everywhere is going to get touched by climate change.
If you're 65 or older, even if you're healthy, you may be at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia, a potentially serious bacterial lung disease that can disrupt your life for weeks. In severe cases, pneumococcal pneumonia can put you in the hospital. It can hit quickly without warning, making you miss out on what matters most. Just one dose of the Prevnar 13 vaccine can help protect you from pneumococcal pneumonia. It's not a yearly shot. Prevnar 13 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 13 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Don't get Prevnar 13 if you have had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. The most common side effects were pain, redness and swelling at the injection site, limited arm movement, fatigue, headache, muscle pain, joint pain, less appetite, vomiting, fever, chills, and rash. Ask about prevention. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 13. At Leaf Filter, we're on a never-ending journey to end gutter cleaning forever. Whoa, way too dangerous, Bill. Say goodbye to that ladder. Way too clogged, Melissa. Those black gutters are causing serious damage to your home. Look at these cracks in your foundation. Leaf Filter, the nation's number one rated gutter protection system, will keep you safe and protect your home. Leaf Filter's stainless micromesh screen fits over your existing gutters and is guaranteed to filter out everything except for water. No more leaves or debris in your gutters for the life of your home. Schedule your free gutter inspection and estimate, just like Paul. With Leaf Filter's lifetime warranty, we guarantee you'll never have to clean those nasty gutters again. Everybody okay with that? Oh, oh I yeah. Sure. Call 833-LEAF-FILTER or go to getleaffilter.com for your free gutter inspection and estimate. Act now and save 15% off your purchase. They're America's biopharmaceutical researchers pursuing life-changing cures in a country that fosters innovation. Here, they find breakthroughs, like a way to fight cancer by arming a patient's own T-cells. Because it's not just about the next breakthrough, it's all the ones after that. You're still out there, chasing what matters. That's why at Aetna, we're committed to taking care of the whole you. With Medicare Advantage plans that offer health coaching and fitness memberships, plus hospital, medical, and prescription drug coverage in one simple plan. With monthly plan premiums starting at zero dollars. Aetna Medicare Advantage plans. Call today to learn more and we'll send you a $10 Visa reward card with no obligation to enroll. Or visit us online at aetnamedicare.com slash TV. What's my safe flight story? My car is more than four wheels. It's my after work decompression zone. So when my windshield broke, I searched for someone who really knew my car. I found the experts at Safelite Auto Glass. With their exclusive technology, they fixed my windshield, then recalibrated the camera attached to my glass. So my safety systems still work. Who knew that was a thing? Safelite has service I can trust. Safelite repair, Safelite replace. Closed captioning brought to you by TheraWorks Relief. Prevent and relieve muscle cramps. I would get muscle cramps several times a week for decades. Using TheraWorks Relief, the cramps are gone. Get TheraWorks Relief today in stores everywhere. Disgraceful, unnerving to its core, a betrayal. That is the Republican reaction to the president's surprise decision and order to remove U.S. troops from a key section in northern Syria. On Sunday, the stunning announcement that the U.S. would essentially be abandoning the, the Kurdish allies who have fought for years on the ground there to help the U.S. defeat ISIS. Despite the criticism, though, the president is defending his decision this way. Well, we've been in Syria for a long time. And it was supposed to be a very short hit, and a hit on ISIS, but it didn't work out that way. Uh, they never left, and they've been there for many, many years. And we are, uh, we were down to very few soldiers in Syria. We had 50 in the region that you're talking about, 50 soldiers. And they've been already moved out, but we'll see what happens. Now, if anyone needs a reminder of what's really at stake here, one man has been sounding the alarm for years, risking it all to expose the atrocities of Syrian President Bashar al-Assad and his regime. He just returned to Washington 
again to beg for action as what's described uh, on what's described as the mother of all sanctions bills sits and sits. And we were there. I do want to warn you, the images you are about to see are graphic and disturbing. We can't tell you his name. It's too dangerous to show his face. He won't even allow his voice to be recorded as he speaks through his translator. But we can show you these. Almost 55,000 photos he risked his life to bring out of Syria, some of which have never been seen publicly until now. And he's risking his life again to plead with Congress to act. How are you feeling in this moment, being back in Washington again? My feeling being here is a feeling of a bit of disappointment and at the same time frustration because after everything that I've done in order to expose what the regime has done, we have yet to see any real action. His code name is Caesar. He was a military photographer in Damascus when the civil war began in 2011. He says he immediately realized what he was then documenting were not accidental deaths, but torture. For example, many of the bodies had their eyes gouged out. Most of these bodies had very deep cuts. Most of them were emaciated, starved for many, many months, and also marks all over their bodies from head to toe. And I would see their jaws and teeth broken. Instead of defecting right after the war broke out, Caesar says he decided to stay for two and a half years to bear witness, collect evidence, and to expose what really was happening in his country where any sign of sympathy for the dead could be interpreted as betrayal of the regime. I would work for hours taking photographs, loading the photographs, and I would have to hide my emotions. I would have to pray that a tear does not come down my face, because if they saw one tear, if they saw one expression on my face that showed sympathy, then I would be killed, as would my family. How did you do that? I don't know. In 2013, he finally fled and brought with him what the FBI confirmed as authentic and the State Department's ambassador for war crimes described as stronger evidence than what existed against the Nazis. The Syrian government has denied responsibility and called the photos fake. Caesar made his first trip to Capitol Hill in 2014, testifying before Congress undercover in the exact same disguise he used for our interview. I honestly thought that if I could have the courage to go for the years that I did, doing the work that I did, endangering my life every single day, that once I came out and showed the world what I had, that the entire conscience of the world would move. And then that didn't five whole years, the world did not move. I'll never forget what he showed us. The sanctions bill sparked by Caesar's testimony and photographs has passed the House three times with bipartisan support, but has yet to make it to the Senate floor. So what I am pleading is for the American people to please save the Syrian people, save these people that do not deserve the hellish nightmare that they're living in. One of the lawmakers Caesar made his case to this time, Senator Lindsey Graham. Not only is he a longtime critic of Bashar al-Assad, Graham also has had the ear of President Trump, and he revealed to CNN that he's introducing a resolution to declare Assad a war criminal. To the people in Syria, we're not turning our back on you. I wish we could do better. The administration needs to do more, quite frankly. We don't have a coherent strategy in Syria, and I am committed 100 percent to not letting Assad get away with it and standing behind people like Caesar, and I'm going to make my colleagues in the Senate vote. Until then, the bill sits on Senator Mitch McConnell's desk and leaves Caesar right back where he began, putting his life on the line to try and convince the world to care and once and for all not look away. We're in the Holocaust Museum, and after the Holocaust, the world said never again. And I'm really struck by seeing the atrocities coming out of Syria and the fact that the world is not saying that. You're right. How many more children must be killed? How many more men must be tortured to death? How many more women must be raped? Until you mean it when you say never again. I want to bring in two people now who know the situation in Syria better than most. 
CNN Chief International Correspondent Clarissa Ward and former U.S. Ambassador at Large for War Crimes Issues, Stephen Rapp. Thank you so much. Ambassador, first to you. Why does what Caesar has produced and smuggled out to show the world, why is it so important? And also, what is your reaction then that at least in the United States, it's done very little? Well, it's extremely valuable evidence. I prosecuted the Rwanda genocide.